Hey, don't you wish you had a better visual experience for your retro games? Do you wish they looked like a CRT, even though you're stuck with an LCD panel? Well, this is not the right video for that kind of thing. But uh, we are looking at an interesting little product uh, just for this little video. This is a <laughs> Cantec. No, uh, let's zoom the hell out here. This is an LCD magnifier for your LCD panel. Pretty obvious when you read the words LCD magnifier. Uh, it claims to enlarge character sizes by more than double. Full screen magnification for comfortable viewing. High quality fresnel lens for a crisp, sharp, and distortion free image. Uh, that's a lie. Uh, adjustable magnification. That's also not necessarily a lie, but it's wrong. It's a different way of doing it. Reduces glare. That's also very much a lie. Elegant lightweight design, I guess. Uh, not necessarily in terms of the boldness. Um, and lastly, quick and easy installation, no assembly required. They do have that right. There's no assembly whatsoever to this because it is uh, approximately five parts of an entire product. But let's actually put this in. You can kind of see uh, we've got a lovely little Dell Ultra Sharp. 1908 FP, that was my Discord, not yours, uh, <laughs> if you happen to hear that noise. Um, we've got the Dell Ultra Sharp, also that one, Dell Ultra Sharp 1908 FP. It is actually a 1280 by 1024 resolution monitor, but I do also have this crazy Atlona HD 500 scaler for my Sega Dreamcast, because... There's nothing else I use other than a Sega Dreamcast. That's just how it goes. But we're gonna use a nice solid base here. We're gonna switch my card over to demonstrate it with some Sonic Adventure, because that's just what makes sense to me. Let's see if I can just kind of hold it in, lock it in. Oh yeah, that's that's nice and good. I don't have any save data on the on this device. So that's fine. That's just fine and dandy. Can I please skip? Yes I can. Yeah, this'll be just fine. I think auto exposure lock will do just fine. So yeah, we're just going to kind of slide on down the hill for a minute. I'm just going to leave it to do its own thing. That way we can get a good visual representation of what's going on here. So this is what it looks like without any kind of uh, additional magnification. It's actually really sharp. Um, there's a bit of a discrepancy because... There is a lot of underscan going on. The monitor actually showcases itself at more of uh, a little bit larger overall, but due to interscaling, I don't want to do that because it doesn't make everything very sharp. So that's a good demonstration of what's going on here. Now, let's pop on the crazy, crazy little gadget we've got going on here, and I may have to do more tweaking to fix up the image, but hey, that'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we're having fun with it. It's all fun. It's all fun. Kind of bring it back out here. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing this time. We're just going to let it run its course. Uh, the important parts actually are beyond the magnifier itself, but... That's all it's really doing. It's taken the same image that I had before. Yes, sorry. Uh, it's taken the same image I had before, but it's magnifying it. It's putting it closer to my face. Uh, and of course, you can tell it's that's all it's really doing. It's just kind of just doing that. From a actual eye perspective, it does perceive to be a bit sharper, a little larger overall as far as the image is concerned, but that's all it's really doing. It's just kind of magnifying the image. 
Um, in terms of the claims on the box, well, let's take a quick look. So, enlarge his character size when we're in double. Well, um, I won't say double necessarily, but Sonic certainly looks bigger, and I can read the ring count easier, so that's nice. Full screen magnification of comfortable viewing. That's not incorrect either. It, it is visually more um, larger. <laughs> that's the best I can say. It's magnified. It is true. High quality fresno lens for a crisp, sharp, and distortion-free image. So, here's where that's a, that's a flat-out lie. Um, if you're dead on, sure. If you're directly dead on, that's perfectly fine. But, uh, let me just show you what happens when you take the lens away. And you start to put it in. So it does actually change some of the dynamics of the image a little bit. And you can see... It's warping around quite a bit. Also, probably messes with the autofocus a little bit. I'm sure it does. But if I start to warp it around, well, uh, yep, soap. Absolute soap. And, of course, it's starting to warp. And you can now see the light that I have above. Warp it that way. And, yeah, it's, it kind of just completely washes the image out. And it's now completely and utterly gone. Also, as a result of the auto exposure lock that I put on. Let's fix that. So yeah, that fixes it up. Also, the screen has darkened itself, so you can see it's this very weird sort of warpy kind of image. And yeah, it distorts it like a mother trucker. Anytime now. It doesn't do much otherwise, but that's all it's really meant to do. It kind of, you can see it magnifies, and it, depending on how far you are, it changes how it goes. Which I guess gets on to the next aspect, which is uh, adjustable magnification. They're, they're not wrong, but that's not really a selling point, is it? If I do this, which is to basically move the arms in such a way that they are kind of out of the way, adjust it like that. I also have to adjust the position of the arms because they're not always elegant. If I, I guess if I get rid of those, I mean, yeah, that's, that's not really, <laughs> yeah, something's, somehow that's not, just, just not right. Uh, if I pull it in, I mean, by this point, is there actually any magnification going on? Not really. It doesn't work. It doesn't really do anything. It's just kind of there. But even a minor magnification versus nothing at all. I don't know. There's not much. And to cover the other claims on the box, reduces glare. Yeah, that's also a bit of a lie. <clears throat> because you can obviously tell as I distort. Well, obviously, the Fresnel lens, the way that works with chrom chromatic aberration, is inherent to how light is going to form and beam and it's just going to distort itself in general. This doesn't showcase it best because it showcase the point that I'm making, which is as you get away from the center, there's definitely a lot of distortion. But more importantly, if you're getting close in, you can kind of see, and this isn't even... Yeah, this is a perfect example. At this angle, you can see how the sort of light distorts from the bench here. It just kind of warps in this certain way, and it kind of gets worse as the exposure changes on this camera. But yeah, not so hot. Which I guess brings us to the last two bits. Elegant, lightweight design. They're not wrong. It's a relatively light thing, and it's very quick to just take off and on, which same goes for the quick and easy installation. It's five, at most, uh, separate bits. Um, all f the four arms I can take off completely if I want to, and that just leaves me with a giant, big old Fred in the lens that I can do whatever I please with. Um, I can't do much with it otherwise, because all it's made for is this. It kind of expands what a LCD panel uh, shows, but I mean, it looks okay. From my current angle, it's not very hot because that's just a consequence of how this is going. But, I mean, hey, 
if what you're looking for is a way of making an LCD panel look sharper, this does kind of do the job. If what you're looking for, though, is something that can simulate an, a CRT display using an LCD panel, um, join the club. Uh, I have been hoping for something like this for a, like that for a while. Something that maybe is on this approach, but has more of a rounded shape to it. Here I am putting my hand closer to the camera to represent the idea of visually distorted kind of a bubble lens. The problem with that, uh, and this is also a consequence of how pricey these things are, is just price and demand are very much a gap. Uh, this thing is not cheap by any means. The only reason I was able to get this for even a remotely decent price is because I found it at a Goodwill. Um, this thing, though, is actually only meant to fit a 17-inch panel. I've got a proper 17-inch panel, and to be fair, even on the 19-inch, on the uh, or it's actually an yeah, it's 18 inch. I'm wrong. Uh, even even for this 18 inch um, Dell Ultra Sharp, it looks fine. Um, when you're close up, it works pretty well. It's this point though. The point of this product is for elderly people, technically, who have a hard time seeing. So yeah, I'm gonna say not a practical product for anyone who's interested in retro gaming, and definitely not going to be the vi the viable product. For anyone whose intentions are to get a CRT-like experience out of an LCD panel. Definitely not the right product. <sighs> so, with that said, I do not recommend the Cantec LCD magnifier for any purpose. Um, not even for people who need to see. Just buy a bigger monitor at this point. Um, with that said, thank you all very much for watching. This has been a door wedge video. Hope you enjoyed it, and you'll have yourself a fantastic rest of your day.